Hello again. Remember when I said those possible times I'd have to do a voiceover? This is one of them. So as I said in a previous uh, video, I had to get a new uh, headset because the USB broke. On this new headset I have, the mic is a little different to what I'm used to. This one, uh, when the red light is lit, it means it's muted. I was still fairly new to using it, so I was not aware that was the case. So I ended up having a break whilst getting my HP back up. So I didn't have tons of audio on the recording, which would sound absolutely horrible when the connection goes all funny when I walk out my room with my headset on. I muted. And I saw the red light thinking, oh, that means I'm recording. That means I'm live. It did not. So, you get the joy of me reacting to what I'm doing again. Yay! I was so careful in this room and I knew that it was going to be a trap following that little, uh scurry thing, scurry beast, whatever it gets called. I knew this is what was going to happen. I was going to run into an enemy, but still I saw loot and decided to go for it because, <laughs> you know, we got to get those gubs. And yeah, this uh, didn't go too good. And the fact he can do that from all that way is so, so frustrating. I made such a big mistake. So much insight lost. I hate those guys so much. <laughs> I just need to get better at dodging or quicking quick. Uh, hitting quicker. The statues scatter around this place remind me of the uh, beasts in the cloak which you get to fight in Old Jarnum. <laughs> That's why I was very wary when running about because I just assumed one of them would be an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a cheeky look. Because <laughs> that room with all the hell loot is not scary. Oh, I was hoping that this fella would patrol so we would turn around and then I would be able to uh, get a cheeky visceral, but <laughs> I uh, didn't expect it would come in here. And yes, <laughs> more slurpees, damn it. I lost so much insight. Blue elixir. Blindfold cap. Madman's knowledge. Madman's knowledge. Pearl slug. <laughs> I decided to close the door to keep it super safe so I could read the description. Um, material used in uh, chalice 
dungeon thingy ritual. <laughs> it looks very jestery. And I still really hate the cuff, um, the colliery cuff bit. It's just a bit too frilly. So nothing which goes with it really uh, grabs my attention since it doesn't hide it. One shortcut open. Very cheeky. Ugh. The kind of blood it has <laughs> when it starts uh, getting whacked it is so cringy. Orphanage key. Not cringy, but disgusting. I didn't want to go there just yet. Another shortcut. I thought the best thing I could do is explore the bottom area because I wasn't too sure if the door up top would be a boss or not. Oh, <laughs> and I decided I didn't know what was going to happen and I didn't want to get stuck on all the walls. So <laughs> I tried to scooch them to the side. I was doing this for a while. <laughs> Almost there. Because <laughs> I love the ragdoll physics. And now there was a nice clean path in case I needed to do a getaway to the safety door. There was a squishy around here somewhere. I had already lost so much insight at that point so I was trying to carefully kill it but uh, as you can see it wasn't going too well Ow. not again not my last insight no evil jammy git No! Stop! I have no knowledge. I have no insight. Leave me alone. They're so evil! Did I die to this? I can't remember. That is very close to death. Oh gosh. Run away! 
to safety. There we go. <laughs> Evil little thing. Thank you, Door of Safety, for saving my life. Now to check what it was guarding in that corridor. Cosmic Eye Watcher Badge. More gubbins from the shop. Yay! And that just circled around. Another door. And some ritual blood. And I think that's the last of the enemies at the moment. But I did still go around the edge to check <laughs> the extra gubs. And seeing as I'm lowish on blood vials I went back to restock that way if there was a boss behind either the bottom floor door or the top floor door I'd be a little bit more ready not much but a little bit at least whoops <laughs> Miss my turning. It's so easy to get lost in these places since everything's so cramped. Cosmic Eye Watcher Badge. Badge of a member of the choir, elites of the healing church. The eye signifies the very cosmos. The choir stumbled upon an epiphany. Very suddenly and quite by accident. Here we stand, feet planted in the earth, but might the cosmos be very near us, only just above our heads. We got a few new uh, weapons in the shop, such as the Rosemarinus, a special weapon used by the choir. High-ranking members of the Healing Church sprays a cloud of sacred mist created by using blood-imbued quicksilver bullets as a special medium. Arius are heard wherever sacred mist is seen, proving that the mist is heaven is a heavenly blessing. O oh, fair maiden, why is it that you weep? This was such a weird sight to walk into, to talk to another dead figure. I thought maybe if I talked to it I'd get ambushed so <laughs> I decided to check this little area out first. I'm very paranoid in this game. Make contact and emote. <laughs> when I first did this, it looked like we were about to start dancing. Like that was the starting pose and then we were going to go into some couple routine. And dance. I was hoping that if I just used the emote back to it, it would give me something else, but it didn't. 
And then it moved. I forgot about that. And now we're doing synchronized dancing. Yeah. And then we move back. I am going to use that and see if making contact it works for other things as well. But what was it trying to make contact with? Was it the moon? And <laughs> the moon's very pretty. I told you I tried to make contact with <laughs> I will use this quite a bit. Oh, and then I tried to hold the moon. <laughs> Hit someone photoshop the moon into my hands. <laughs> I'm catching the moon. Woo! Yes, I am a dork. <laughs> I guess the moon was not something to get in contact with. Fair enough. And now that that's done, the place left to go was down the stairs and through the door. I realised it would be easier just to go this way. Because I returned to the lantern, everything would have respawned again, so <laughs> I was trying to be quiet in hopes of not drawing them. meant all the walls were back and luckily the angry wolves uh, were nice enough to come say hi at my door <laughs> uh, this brings me back to simpler days back in <laughs> Yarnum Back near the Cleric Beast's bridge, where you could draw the werewolves to the door. Good times, good times. Things were less, less creepy then. This game definitely took quite a turn. <laughs> Ow. Evil. Ow. Meanie. How rude. Oop. Nope. <laughs> when did I not unmute? Fuck. How long has that been on? No. Why do I keep booking up? <laughs> 